So this reading is over Miss Alexis Ware. She's been missing since January the 30th from South Carolina. She's a loving mother of two and an absolutely beautiful woman. Um, and I'm just gonna, spirit, we're calibrating to the energy of Alexis Ware. My angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are assisting in this reading. And Alexis, your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are welcome to assist us with this reading and take the lead if necessary. Um, Holy Spirit, what happened to Miss Ware? What happened to Miss Alexis Ware? Missing from South Carolina. What happened to Miss Alexis Ware? Missing from South Carolina. This one to come down. I'm going to hold it. Thank you. These cards deal pretty fluidly. And the fact that they're just... Okay. The fact that they're just not coming out like they normally do. Like they want to fall, but they don't. And when they do that, I'm going to hold them. Something is telling me I need to hold them. What happened to Miss Alexis Ware? Okay. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Thank you. I want you all to look at these cards. It's the Nine of Wands and then the Eight of Swords. First thing I want to say is that when I, I asked what happened to her, she was restrained in some manner, um, enclosed. She was taken to an unfamiliar area, an area she's not familiar with. There is a male involved. I don't know what her relationship, what his relationship is to her. He's likely over the age of 40. This man, um, I do think she was assaulted. I don't know whether this is a physical or a sexual assault. What are these two cards? So there's another male involved. Okay, so this is the thing. We may be dealing either with a man, a, a older man that um, has a younger mindset, like a 40 year old that acts like they're 20, or this may act, this may actually represent someone. Um, let's just say this: they're between the ages of, I would say, 25 to 40. So I'm gonna take this as one energy. This person, I don't know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to say who this is or who this person is a male who's responsible for her disappearance. I know that in some way she was restricted. Tarot cannot tell us if she's alive or deceased. Um, there have been instances where I have said that someone is deceased because it was just obvious in that spread. But uh, I don't have any obvious signs of death in this spread. And normally I don't like to say whether I, I think they are deceased or not. But this man um, is... I'm just going to describe his personality and then her friends and family and um, people familiar with the case or just familiar or people from her area. I'm going to describe this person's personality. Give me a second. Okay, so this person is a man that feels like the world owes him everything. He's someone that doesn't like to work, but yet he likes nice things. He's better at spending money than he is at making it. Um, th this man basically is a man that likes to be taken care of. I can say that likely he does a lot of get rich quick, quick schemes. And he may have involved Alexis in this, um, in these schemes. Theft, embezzling. I heard that she worked as, um, a, a hairdresser.
This man has a low self-esteem. It bothered him a lot. Alexis's beauty was bo was bothersome to him because she's represented as the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. This energy isn't here for any, for any other reason other than this is representative of what she, her. And if you know anything about Tarot and to her family members who are watching this who may not know much about Tarot, the Empress is like the best of the best in the Tarot deck. Like she's like the woman that flourishes, has everything. Um, she does represent someone who's pregnant uh, and she represents motherhood period so she represents from conception to after you birth children and then the queen of pentacles is a business owner her and the queen of wands are business owners of the deck she's a woman that's really good with earthly matters really good with domestic things um good at managing money number one she has emotions, a lot of emotions, whereas the, the Queen of Swords, who is another queen in the tarot deck, doesn't have many emotions. So I just think this is representative of her. I think that she was, this this Nine of Pentacles was is turn, was touching the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. And it's, give, it's giving the energy of, she was someone who always did things by the book and then was coerced likely by this person that I'm talking about, the man I described those characteristics into doing something that was illegal. This person is one of someone who's easily injured, um, like a narcissistic in injury. Uh, any form of what is, what am I trying to say? Any form of criticism he takes the wrong way even the small things um just very volatile somebody you really can't say anything to because they'll blow up i'm definitely getting that this person tried restricted her in some way or is restricting her in some way so since we're on this person because obviously well it's, it's kind of the energy is kind of taking over so this may be where spirit wants to go like Tell us more about this person. Let me do this. This is the Southern Bell Tarot Who Done It Oracle. Um, if you want to purchase these cards, they're for sale on my Etsy shop, and they're not this small. They're actually full size tarot cards. Because when I've got these as the sample, I realized I don't want them this little. So you can actually see on my Etsy shop that they're going to be bigger than this. Um, give me something out of the Southern Bell Tarot Who Done It Oracle. From Miss Alexis Ware, missing from South Carolina since January 30th, the mother of two. Hasn't been seen or heard from since. Give me something from Miss Alexis Ware. This is too much. I would never take this many cards. Um, how many is it? Yes, too many. I never take this many. So I'm going to just pull. Randomly pull from out the pile. I'm going to take... Okay, so this is the thing. When I said that those two energies, I was seeing those two male energies, I thought they were one person. It's probably two people. Law enforcement, you need to review all of the available evidence again. You all missed something. Um, trigger warning to any of her family and friends watching this. Um, have any type of heart condition or any type of medical condition cut the video now um and if you just won't be able to take what i'm about to say this is triggering so I'm just gonna give you some time to maybe speed through this part um this says the victim was killed because they knew harmful information about the perpetrator which i likely think it's um this scheme that she was involved in that she really didn't want to be involved in we also have sex crime and we have strangulation with object so strangled with an object like a belt or something something linear that can go around her throat um i'm just gonna pull one more so many cards want to come out with her because like that that was a bunch of cards the perpetrator is hiding in plain sight the perpetrator has already been in interviewed by law enforcement
So I'm being prompted by spirit not to say what these other two cards are. And it seems like that's what's going to end up happening with these cards a lot. I can say a lot of things that come out, but they don't want me to say this, these two things. So let me keep this here. I don't know what she did see. They said she was a hairdresser, but did she hold any type of job, any type of job? Of any capacity right when I'm talking about work toil and labor comes out and I'm just gonna look at the kipper the kipper has many meanings so I like to look up the meanings while I do my videos if you don't like it sorry So this um, toil and labor represents work that you do to make ends meet, work that you're, you almost feel forced to do. This, this type of work isn't, um, what is it, emotionally fulfilling, which is why I said I feel like she was forced into doing something that she normally wouldn't do. They, this person made her feel like she was obligated to do this work. She didn't enjoy it. Let me sort more out the kipper for Miss Alexis Ware's um, discipline. House came out. This card shows your family, neighborhood, house, home, or buildings, or real estate in general. It also stands for stability and security. This might be a secure and safe job or a job with real estate. The house can also indicate a solid, strong and steady relationship. This could be an actual house or apartment home in security or real estate. Okay, so this is, this is different. I, let me hold that thought. Hold that thought and give me one more spirit. Because. Okay, I'm not taking all those. I'm going to take this one. We got child. Child can represent a literal child. And this is not saying her children had anything to do with this. It can represent literal child or um, a new beginning. Like I said, I think she wants a new beginning. In the center of the spread, the people who surround it can be dangerous. So someone who she shares a child with can be dangerous. If it's because the house, I'm keeping it in the middle. Because I went, I did, okay. Someone she shares a child with or someone she had a new beginning with. So this could be a new, a new romantic partner. Yeah, in many cases, it shows a new beginning with child it can indicate child or children or your inner child but in many cases it shows a new beginning so this could be someone she had a new beginning with so this could be a new job a new project or a new love so i'm getting the energy of this person maybe presented with this opportunity like it's something fresh something new an opportunity for her to take care of her children but then it had it had an underhanded side to it, a side that she really didn't want to be involved in. And because she knew about how the, op, the ins and outs of this operation, they got rid of her. Or we have marriage. One more out of the kipper. Okay, so the FBI assistant with the investigation may be beneficial. Because we have official person in marriage. And what I get is like the union of the FBI in, this, in the local investigate, investigative team. Them stepping in. But let me also look at the meanings to see if there are any other meanings that may be beneficial to this.
this, the marriage stands for relationships, bonds, or friendships. It only supports marriage if nearby car, cards support this. I would say house is supported. It can mean separation if surrounded by negative cards. Yeah. It also represents contracts. So, so again, I'm getting this business relationship with somebody. This person somehow controlled had some has some sort of control over her. That's at the bottom. That's not the bottom. Okay. So spirit, based on the statements I just made, give me more. Give me more. Based on the statements that I've made, give me more. Give me more. Please. Um, let's do this. Alexis's angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Will you all give me more? You all take the lead. Um, reveal to me something I'm not seeing. Reveal to me something that may be beneficial. Tell me when I shouldn't say things. I should keep them to myself because it could be detrimental to the case. Thank you. She was meeting with someone, a man. He has to be under the age of 40. He has to be under the age of 40. The Queen of Wands is inverted here. That's never good energy. And I'm just trying to... There's something significant about a body of water. I can definitely say that. This is this man it has to be a new love interest. It has to be a new love interest that has some type of business proposal. I'm like, look, if you do this, you can get this out of that. Because I can say that. I'm not gonna say that. We have the Queen of Wands starting the energy, the Queen of Swords ending the energy. I'm wondering if there's a, a female involved. Is Are you trying to tell me there's a female involved? There's some female involved that's not Alexis? Truth. Thank you. Ace of Swords came out. Okay, so this is what this is what it's coming down to. This is someone that she met. At this point, it could be a man or a woman that said that they um, told Alexis, I have a business opportunity for you. You can do this. Um, she was real excited about it. But then I think she realized there was some underhandedness toward, in this opportunity. Didn't want to take part in it because it was illegal. She wasn't trying to go to prison. So this these people may have felt like she would tell. And they did, yeah, did something to her. Yeah. Devil inverted can indicate a get rich quick scheme. It can also indicate someone freeing themselves from the devil's chains because if you look at the card, they're um, chained together. But it's when it's inverted, that means they're trying to get off of the chains.
see when i do these readings because i'm not from the areas i just it's harder but like it's something about finances some new business opportunity so yeah she wasn't willing to make no high risk investment in anything she wanted something low risk this she kind of honestly was tr trying to help them because like they are going to get caught Yeah, it that that's that's mostly what I'm getting, guys. It was some type of business venture. I'm still here, guys. I'm just. Crime did come out, didn't it? So that could mean, you know what? I'm not gonna say it on here. Um, but I almost wonder if they were trying to force her into prostitution or telling her if you sleep with this person for this amount of money, you'll get this much back or something. Or maybe it was more of a like a you just friends with them that yeah we got the emperor she can imp indicate a pimp like she may have thought this i'm just going dates escorting i wouldn't actually be having sex but they expected her to have sex and she wasn't into that Yeah, it was, it was, that's what it was. That's what it was. Because if you look at Alexis, she's a very beautiful woman. Um, I think they presented this offer as if you would be, escort, she would be escorting and then it, it turned into, no, you actually need to sleep with the customer. And she was like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, actually think this is a ring like an escort ring um kind of like a, a I think it was the lady the lady that got arrested and they wanted her black book with all the names in it she was the Hollywood madam it's it's giving one of these it's give it's Heidi Fleiss ain't that what it was it was Heidi Fleiss it's, I'm getting Heidi Fleiss energy yeah she's a madam so what it is is someone run is running a prostitution ring they recruited her for it okay this is just this is what i think i'm getting down to they recruited her for this prostitution ring um presented to her as if you'll just go on dates with these men you'll accompany accompany them to events she didn't think there was sex involved but then they turned on turned it on her and said well we expect you to have sex with the customers she wasn't okay with that. Um, this almost seems like a very exclusive thing to be a part of because the people, the men who use these services are prominent men. I could say that. Or it may be run by a prominent member of the community. I can say that too. And why they would kill her, I don't know. It Was it like that exclusive though, you know? Because Heidi Fleiss operated for years and people knew. And and did it didn't come a problem until I feel like the IRS wasn't get that, getting their cut. Um, but there's something very exclusive. There's some form of severe exclusivity. Like, no one really knows about this. I don't think she ever said, I'm going to tell. I don't think she said that. But I don't know why they inferred that she was and felt it necessary to, you know... So spirit um i have my intuitive hypothesis um 
confirm or deny or add if there needs to be additions. Thank you. I'm telling the truth. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords represents the truth. And that card came down at the very beginning of this last spread. Because I was kind of like not wanting to go there. But then it was like, no, keep going. You're right. Yeah, that's what it is. Some high profile prostitution ring. Let's see if we could get some characteristics of the people involved. I'm seeing queen spelled Q W E E N. And I may come I may accept or deny things because some things just aren't relevant because it could be anybody. First, middle, or la last initial may begin with the letter E or Q as in queen. See, I said this person is very smart. I mean, it takes some intellect to run run such a See, I told you they're a prominent member of the community. They would be considered someone that has good character. They may even be considered a geek. Anybody can be that says patient. Anybody can be patient. Wait a minute. If she works in some type of medical field, he may have he or she may have been a patient. Like a patient, like a hospital patient, something like that. If she did, because I'm I'm not certain if I'm sticking the hair. That's not that's not relevant. See those things, these are things any I want like specific things, like a, a, a initialist. Yeah, I told you. I said a wealthy person. I said prominent member of the community. This can be anybody, this can be anybody, this can be anybody, this can be anybody. This person has a really good reputation. I'm hearing you can go back into this deck, but you can only take three. Okay. Okay, that's two. Again, it's coming out. Victim was killed because they knew harmful information about the perpetrator. I think this is Spirit's way of affirming that, yeah, it was like someone is trying to cover... I'm not going to say this, and I'm not going to say that, but I'm hearing split it. Oh, shit, I can't say that either because I just feel like that. Yeah, I'm not going to say these things. Wow. This did turn. This did go left really quickly. Um, remember, this is all alleged and according to spirit and my inter intuition interpretation of the tarot. Um, I have watched other readings over her her disappearance, and I don't remember anybody coming up with this with this theory that I have, this intuitive theory I have. Um, so you see what I'm saying? It could it could be literally anything. It could literally be anybody. Um, could be that 99.9% .9 of this is the truth, and it could be that 99.9% .9 of this is false. Um, it, it, I'm just telling you guys, don't take this and run with it. Um, and remember, tarot can re represent past, present, or future energy. Okay, something is telling me to just let's get some closing, some just some closing messages from you, Holy Spirit. No, no, closing messages from Alexis's angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. She loves her children. Yeah. So this was something that she thought was going to be a good beginning that just turned around. It's like it looked good, but then when she got the details, it's like, this is not what I want. Okay. 
I don't think I'm going to get any further than this. I hope this was um, beneficial. Um, even though I saw strangulation with the object, I'm not going to say she's deceased. I'm not going to say that. But, okay. Okay.